Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video, we're going to creating a new ability from the Paragon and game Greystone ability make way. So just to give you a quick demo, what we're doing today is if I move on the TD enemy character and activate my ability, it's showing some particle effect and damaging the enemy. Okay. So this is what we're going to be creating. So start off by going to your ability folder and creating a new folder. And we need to rename this ability make way well because why not okay move inside of it create a new blueprint class it's going to be type gameplay ability and we use this dp base gameplay ability and name this g underscore make way open this up we need to delete these and uh, we don't need these okay and we don't need this one either i think okay so to start off what I'm going to do is first of all get character info okay and get actor location and what I'm going to do is actually apply this over time so what I want to do is make this over an event so I'll add a custom event and it's going to be scan enemies right and after this i'm going to do is sphere overlap actors okay and this is going to be my origin for the overlapping and the radius is going to be about 300 for the object types make array and this is going to be pawns only and actors to ignore is going to be array and we want to Ignore ourselves for this scan and after this for each loop. Okay, now you can implement some sort of faction system to check if the overlap vector is enemy and then apply damage. But since we don't have this right now, so I'm just going to say get ability system component and apply gameplay effect to target. I'm using target because it might confuse some people that uh, why we're applying the gameplay to self. If you know what you're doing, you can use apply gameplay effect to self because we are targeting this scanned actors and not the ourselves actually. But just to keep it like this, you can use this target and for this target pin, what you can do is drag out from here and say get ability system component and plug this over here okay so we can create a gameplay effect class that applies damage to our and uh, overlapped actors moving to our folder and create a new blueprint class of type gameplay effect going to ge underscore make way damage okay duration policy is going to be instant and for the modifier what i'm going to do is Modify our health by negative five. This is done. Compile and save this, and select this and plug this in over here. Now I'm going to call this on the activate ability. First of all, what I'm going to do is say commit ability. After commit ability, I'm going to call scan actors, scan enemies. Okay, um, but I want to do it uh, multiple times uh, after a certain delay. So for this, I'm going to create two variables. It's going to be current count, and this is going to use type integer. I'm going to create a new variable. It's going to be max count. Okay. So I'm going to compare this. If current count is greater than or equal to this. So if it's not greater than this, I'm going to scan for the enemies and I'm going to increment this by one and after this I'm going to give a delay. So this is a different kind of delay, wait delay and you do have the standard delay over here as well but I suggest not to use this one 
and instead use this one this allows you to do something in parallel while you are waiting for this delay and once this is finished you trigger this one so it's just a nice way to do things inside of DM playability now this node specifically is called ability task um, you might want to search on these if you want to know more about these but basically these are like self-contained uh, states within the game capabilities okay so after this delay is finished i want to loop back over here let's add a few reroutes to make this a bit better and once this is great i'm going to end my ability that's it and for the delay i'm going to be using like uh, 0.5 and i'm going to max count a value of let's say uh, 11 11 should do okay so just to uh, debug this up here what i'm going to do is for the time being add draw debug sphere this one okay and origin is going to this one radius is going to be 300 duration is going to be like uh, one second and thickness is going to be three three is going to be two okay this is done so moving to our player character first of all we need to acquire this ability for the every system component so we need to go initialize ability and i'm going to plug this in now you see also that uh, this has become annoying because we have to add a lot of ability we have to call this function every time again and again so in the future what we're going to do is actually create a function that takes in an array of these uh, classes and initializes those ability for us but for now just uh, go with this and i'm going to also add a new input for the action and it's going to be called ability2 and for this i'm going to call this numeric2 and inside of the player character uh, over here use this and call this function again and this is going to be ga make way and i don't have a gameplay effect for the damage okay i have this but i don't have any gameplay effects for cost or cooldown so let's just test it out without those first and then we'll I think I need to make my health a bit bigger so the effect is visible. Let's change this to like 200 and play this again. And I press the 2 key, you see I'm causing damage over time and it's going to be about 11 times after this is done. Okay, so it's working fine. Now let's add our uh, what's it called? Um, cost and cooldowns for this okay moving back to our ability folder make way i'm going to create new blueprint class of type in play effect and it's going to be ge underscore make way cost duplicate this and rename this to cooldown okay open up the cost cost is going to be instant and it's going to be our mana i'm going to subtract like negative 10 from this okay and for the cooldown what i'm going to do is changes to has duration and duration is going to be i'm going to keep this at uh, 10 seconds okay this is done now i add this over here cooldown and use this class and for the cost class and to use this class okay compile and save this save all of it and let's play this it should cost us mana this time oh sorry this is a key it's causing damage to the enemy okay and yes this is working now to add the particle effects uh, what i'm going to do is actually not use the gameplay queue but uh, rather a custom event inside of the player character now this is not the way to do this but uh, for the demonstration purposes how you can leverage your blueprint 
uh, inside of the game library system i'm going to demonstrate using this example but in the future we are going to replace this uh, with uh, gameplay cues that are going to trigger trigger particle events for us so what i'm going to do is create a new custom event spawn particles let's move it over here and i'm going to do spawn emitter attached and i'm going to attach this to our mesh and attach name is be pelvis and for the rotation on the y it's going to be 90 and snap to target keep world scale and for this i'm going to use the paragon graystone asset and that's going to be abilities based on abilities and it's going to be mm -hmm, this one okay moving back select this compile and save this moving back to our gm make way i'm going to use this function of ours and before after i commit my ability i'm going to call this function so drag out from here and call the spawn particles event and plug these over here like so and now what you should see and let's disable this also let's bypass this and test it out press the key so you see it's spawning those particle effects and my ability is done okay so one last thing that I want to do is add some tags for these abilities so add a new gameplay tag is going to character char dot ability dot make way okay add this compile and save this for the damage and to add a gameplay effect asset tag and the added category is going to be char dot ability dot make way dot damage effect okay and for the cost it's going to be same gameplay effect asset tag going to be character dot ability dot make way dot cost okay and for the cooldown is going to be granted tag instead of the asset tag and it's going to be um, character dot ability dot make way dot cooldown okay this is done and by the way if you spell any of these uh, tags wrong and you cannot change these over here but you go to project has settings and under the gameplay tags these are all of your tags and you can rename and do whatever you want to do over here okay by pressing this rename delete and this kind of thing so this is done and yeah that's it in the next video what i'm going to actually show is that i don't want my mirror ability to be playing while i'm casting this ability and my make way ability is going to actually block my melee ability and this is going to be done using gameplay tags you're going to actually call the block activation tag over here and actually understand how this works so i think this is it for this video what you could do is also add animations over here if you want to and play those animations and we're going to discuss another uh, way to activate these abilities on events that are fired from the animations so the gameplay tags and animation events are going to be in the next video plus we are going to also see another thing that's going to be um, this ability level and how does it affect our gameplay abilities so this is it for this video thank you very much